So the exhibition is Roots of Rebellion, and Roots of Rebellion is about uh, tracing different creative figures. How do creative people come to do what they do? Ever since I was a child, I would I walk in, in let's say mile seven in the neighborhood. It's supposed to take certain main roads, but I would always take the lungus, and they're also known as the route of rebellion. My vision through Nuku is that we offer a service um, that we see that our work is to offer a service to the society so that we can grow and um, invest in ourselves. Good day everyone, my name is Kenny and this is Prince Hamdan's podcast and we're here today to have a very very special topic with a very special somebody. So today is actually special because it's about the Roots of Rebellion exhibition that is opening at Nuku Studio. And we decided that, you know what, we need to have a conversation with the star of the day, the man of the hour, to find out a little bit about who he is, what he is, and what he tries to achieve. Hello, Jesse. Hi, how are you? I'm good. good so give us you. a brief introduction of yourself. Sure. So I'm Jesse Weaver Shipley, and I'm an artist and a scholar. Um, my work crosses from writing to filmmaking to photography to theater um, and I've worked in Ghana, UK, US but I've spent a lot of time in Ghana really since the 1990s. I lived here for a number of years uh, so a lot of my work connects to Ghanaian history, the Ghanaian creative arts scene um, so I'm excited to be here in Tamale at Nuku Studio. Nice. And it's great to see you. Yes, same. Great to see you, same. So what is the, what is the essence of the exhibition? Start okay. with the name and okay. what exactly it's about. Yeah. So the exhibition is Roots of Rebellion. And Roots of Rebellion is about uh, tracing different creative figures. How do creative people come to do what they do? What are their journeys? And when I say creative people, I mean people in the arts, musicians, but also uh, mavericks, renegades, people who think differently as politicians, as uh, athletes, um, as someone who wants to chart a different path in their life. So the name Roots of Rebellion refers to anyone who's a creative individual who wants to try and chart their own path. And so the works in this exhibition follow different figures, sometimes literally, sometimes more metaphorically, as they travel the world, as they move across Ghana, as they try and move through the boxing ring or across the football pitch, um, as they travel the route of an actual coup d'etat. Um, so what do, what do radical thinkers do? How do they become radical? How do they think creatively? How do they try and move in a different path than yeah. the norm? Yeah, yeah. Sounds, sounds very interesting. And I, as far as I know, today's the opening day. How long will the exhibition be running for? Yes, yeah, so the exhibition opens today, uh, Saturday. Um, the exhibition will run through the end of February. Uh, so it'll be open for the whole holiday season through February. Um, and we're doing the launch today, which is very exciting. We just finished installing. Um, should I mention how big the exhibition is, something about the exhibition? Yes, yes, mention how big it's going to be. Okay, so the exhibition, so Nuku Studio is a huge, beautiful space. So the entire team has worked for over a year trying to design this exhibition and really for the last week installing these works in Nuku. Yeah. And it's almost 100 photographs, it's 12 different films. Wow. So it's all here for people to come. The gallery's open for public. Uh, free and clear to the public to come and view the works and they're kind of unusual films a lot of them are films that are they're not quite documentaries they're not quite fiction pieces so I'm excited for people to come and interact with the work and look at it uh, see what they think um, some of the audience members will be familiar with some of the stories um, some of it will be unusual to people so I hope it is exciting for the public Wow yes yes so as, as you've heard it's going to be amazing. And I'm so happy I'm going to be here for the opening as well. And I think everybody who will be watching this video would immediately know that what this particular exhibition is about are for people who actually want to make a change. People who are naturally rebellious in nature. And they think that, you know what, 
I need to come and see what my counterparts are doing as well. And so, as you know, Nuku Studio is open from, one, from, from Tuesdays to Saturdays, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Children, men, women, female, male, she, he, they, them, everybody is welcome to the space. We encourage especially kids to come and interact with the space, adults as well to come and have meaningful conversations about what it means to run a coup d'etat, what it means to be a rebellious person in this nature. Jesse, thank yeah. you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I really much. appreciate it. Who would you like to give a little shout out to? Yeah, so first of all, I mean, the gallery director, Ni Obodai, was the one who asked me to come and do this show, a collection of my works. Um, uh, Atu Anan has done the production design and just the space is beautiful. I'm excited for people to come in. Um, Robin Riskin and uh, Okanta Patrick uh, Ankra are the curators, so they've done this uh, beautiful kind of design of the works. So many people have contributed. So, I mean, the last thing, let me just mention some of the works because I know people might be excited yeah. by some of the names that they yeah. might be familiar with. So, yeah. one piece, just very quickly, is about the World Cup in 2010. Yeah. where the Ghana Black Stars had a very exciting run to I the quarterfinals and then a tragic loss. Tragic. So we followed the Black Stars, so we have this incredible film piece about the Black Stars in 2010. Wow. There's a lot of the Ghanaian political figures going back to Nkrumah era, wow. to Rawlings, wow. um, to these different kind of major political figures, yeah. uh, some images, some films about them, nice. films about photography in Ghana. Wow. Um, Mohammed Ben Abdallah, who was the founding director of the National Commission on Culture and built the National Theater, was my teacher. So some of the work is about his interactions. Yeah, so it's really about creative people. And to think differently, you don't have to look at film one way. Come, decide you like the films. Come, say, I don't like how this is made, and then do your own version. It's meant to be an interaction, a way to engage with being creative, being who you are. Nice, nice. He said it all, actually. It's a way of being interactive and being who you are. So we're encouraging everybody, take your time and definitely pass by before February because once this is gone, it's gone. I mean, it's like it's a once-in-a-lifetime once opportunity. Yes. Jesse, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Bye for now. We're back again with Prince Hamdan's podcast. And I'm here with a very interesting human being. I say human being because you can't limit him to one particular box. He's too special for that. Mm. How you doing? It's dangerous to make people too special. Why? What will happen? It's discrimination. Oh, I'm sorry for that. I'm not trying to discriminate. I'm just normal, extra special. Okay, so he's normal, extra special. Yes, please. Please tell us your name. Uh, my government name bestowed upon me by my parents is Emmanuel Ousubonsu. But my um, public servant name, well, the name I used to do my public service in my countries, uh, is Emmanuel. Hey, it's one of the Kubolo. <laughs> <laughs> because of the government name, we understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The government name is trying to overpower me. I know. We'll fight the one power. One of the Kubolo. Yes. Pakupe, one. Yeah. You no get, you no get, no get double. You know, get or twin. shark. You know, get shark, eh? Yeah. That one. Shackless. Yes. So, one love. You are at the Route of Rebellion exhibition. Yes. And we know we are expecting lovely things. So, what has been your contribution, actually? Ever since I was a child, I would, I walk in, in, let's say, Mile 7, the neighborhood. It's supposed to take certain main roads, but I would always take the Lungus. And they're also known as the Route of Rebellion because... And so that's when I started contributing to this. Wow. Because those routes of rebellion, I took the footpaths that were seen there, snakes there, hey, something is there, those kind of, you meet mad people there and stuff, just walk on the main road. Those routes of rebellion made me into who I am to where today somehow I am a contributor in some capacity to this. That's lovely. Yes. That's lovely. Yeah. yeah, I can see your your energy alone. Mm -hmm. It's actually changed the space. Oh, really? Oh, yes, it has. Yes, mm -hmm. because immediately you stepped in, we heard your voice. Mm -hmm. That was the first thing we heard. Wow, and that's interesting. You know why? Are why? you talking about today or yesterday? I'm talking of today. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, even from yesterday. I mean, since you landed, you could see like there's a certain type of energy oh, that is flowing through the space, and that energy cannot be reciprocated. It only belongs to one law of the Kubo yeah, law. Yeah, but it's amplification. 
because there's people here that have like energy so sure. we are just amplifying it that's exactly. why it's louder it's, 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 it's much yeah. louder so i'm guessing we are going to expect awesome things today and i believe you would be participating fully oh yes of course very fully very yes. cool. so we are expecting the best of course um, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you too. Yes, thank you for actually sitting down in one place and not moving. Yes, Kenny. I, it's because of the saliva you put on my seat, which has stuck me to it right now. You see, I did very well. <laughs> I did very, very well. I tried. Yes, I did. I tried. <laughs> and it actually worked. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye for now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And this is still Prince Hamdan's podcast. This particular person... <laughs> He's amazing in all aspects. He's been a mentor. He's been an inspiration to me. And he's been the backbone of this particular institution we're sitting in. We have here Noda Ni Hoboda. You see, I have to do the introduction so that they can understand the person we are coming to talk to. But before that, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Thank you for that nice introduction. <laughs> You're it's welcome. nice to be here with you. Yes, it is. And I learned you're a year older today. Yes, and I'm on the sixth floor. Wow, <laughs> finally. That, 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 that is a high level to be on. And how does, it, how does it feel? Great. Yeah. Better than ever. Better than ever. Yes. So we are here today because of the Routes of Rebellion exhibition. Yep. And Jesse has told us a lot. He has kept the path. He has told us how you supported and became the backbone of what is happening today. So I wanted to hear something extra from you. What are we expecting? Um, I think, you know, we, this exhibition, definitely, as soon as you walk into it, it, it um, immediately speaks of a remarkable journey um, of an artist who I've respected from day one. Uh, meeting Jesse years ago after having spent years also hearing about him from my friends in the community, in the art community, um, and wondering who is this Jesse Shipley that I, I'm always be, I've always been told to meet. Um, when we finally met, um, it was an instant connection and we have collaborated and discussed Ghana, politics, culture, uh, we have played together um, to finally bring this exhibition, to birth this exhibition here. Um, this exhibition is particularly important, I think, in the history of our creative endeavors because it brings together so many facets of um, Ghana's history, sure. our contemporary history in politics, in culture, in sports, um, and it takes us beyond theory into practice yeah. as researchers yeah. and artists. Yeah. It offers us, our society, an insight into histories that we sometimes might have forgotten yeah. or don't know enough about. Yeah. It opens up many questions for us of course. about who we are. Yeah. Um, but I think it also leads us into the future. That's what probably is the most important part of this exhibition. Yes. Is that once you're in touch with it, you should leave here asking questions. And those questions will then unfold. Of course. As you said, the questions will then unfold. So we, we, we want to hear a little bit about you and what Nuku Studio is to you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a photographer. As as an artist, um, as a Ghanaian, I'm a dreamer and um, very passionate about Ghana. Um, I believe that Ghana inherently is one of the, that the Ghanaian people and the Ghanaian state has within, has within it, within us, um, some of the highest states of intelligence on this planet um, and as an artist my vision through Nuku is that we offer a service um, 
that we offer that we see that our work is to offer a service to the society so that we can grow and um, invest in ourselves um, and, on, and really manifest our creative potential. Um, I'm not alone in this endeavor, of course. There are many artists who um, have started uh, their own initiatives and, um, and so we stand side by side with them. Um, but it's also important that those of us who have um, years of experience allow that experience to branch off new um, access for our younger artists who are coming up to, su to support them. So the infrastructure has always been important yeah. for me that um, we're able to do that. Um, we see young artists like Ibrahim Mahama. Yeah. Um, he's coming from the school at KNUST, which is doing a remarkable job of um, fostering an intelligent and motivated uh, school of thought. Yeah. Um, so I really applaud the professors there and uh, the students there for what they're doing. Yeah. We have organizations like uh, Nubuke Foundation in Accra. Yeah. They are inspiring and influencing new galleries that are opening up, like the La Gallery, which has just recently opened up and putting on some amazing exhibitions. Yes, 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 um, they are. And so, you know, I like to think that Nuku and the team that runs it are at the forefront, uh, you know, um, that we are, we are there. Um, really helping shape the future for our, our younger, the, the coming generations in front of us, yeah. Yeah. Yes, shaping the future is what we all think about and what we all aim for. And I feel like, I think this exhibition, considering what we've been doing from last year to this year, every single exhibition has been centered on Ghana. Everything has, a, even particular to, to the north. I think this is the only exhibition that you have that is not actually specifically for the north. Yeah. Everything has been to the north, for the north, with the north, in the north. And trust me, the northern people are ever grateful for what you've been doing. People come into the space and they immediately are transferred into a place where like, they are thinking, is this how my north can be? Is this actually how my north looks like? Because now they are seeing it from a, a retrospect of somebody who doesn't even live here that much? And they ask themselves that question, what am I doing? Like, am I actually, am I interacting with my environment as somebody who doesn't even live here? So we want to say a very big thank you for what you're doing. We would make sure that the community does not sleep where it is. That access, that interaction, that conversation will keep happening. Are there some people you'd like to say a special thank you to for this exhibition? Um, yes, and I, I will come to that because you said something that's important. Why are we here in the north? Um, and the beginnings of our, our routing in the north has been a very deliberate um, plan, intention. Um, sometimes when we speak about our country, we speak about it in terms of divisions, in terms of the regional and economic and political divisions. I think it's important that we have the courage to step outside of those frameworks and take ownership of what it really means to be a Ghanaian. And it's a very pertinent warning, especially today, because few really heed that warning. And that warning is that we should not be tribalistic. Hmm. Right? Hmm. And there, there may seem some advantages to being tribalistic, but it's a very myopic way of looking at life. Of course. We all have immense influences and we need to acknowledge where those influences come from. Yes. Um, and we need to foster relationships, meaningful relationships. And I think as, you know, moving Nuku from Accra to the north, one, is uh, part of the birthright of Nuku, to be anywhere it wants to be in Ghana. Yeah. and to offer service to Ghana from new perspectives, and that's what we're doing. Um, in terms of gratitude, 
mean, definitely there are countless names who have helped us to be here. Most important, I would say, would be um, Henry Winches and his family, who um, offered us the use of this space, yeah. um, who believed in our, who believed in our vision yeah. from the moment he heard about it, yeah. and uh, was engaged with us in um, working with him to uh, publish the Northern Life book that we have here. Yeah. Um, I give gratitude to. UDS, University of Ghana, for being so supportive of us, to members of the community here. I mean, there are so many names, really. So if I'm not um, giving specific names, um, forgive us, but forgive me, yeah. <laughs> because it's quite overwhelming. But there, there is a huge amount of gratitude that I hold to whoever has supported us. and. Um, that will carry me always. Always. And it will always be a part of, of the service that we offer here in Nuku. Yes. 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 Just to elaborate more on the services of Nuku, Nuku is not just only the photographic center for research practice, but it also offers reading services. We have a reading library here. We have the classes for the children on Saturdays. The space is an open space for you to come. They are open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. from Tuesdays to Saturdays. So if you're a group, a single individual, whoever you are, he, she, them, they, any caliber of human being that you are, don't be afraid to open that gate and enter the space. That is the essence of the space. Neil Bodai, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We appreciate being here. Thank you. And we are expecting much much more bigger things. Oh, yes. Much yes. more bigger things. Oh, yeah. We have... Um, sometimes it feels overwhelming. Yeah. But we're doing things step by step. Yeah. Um, we work with what we have. I always say that. Yes. What um, we have. And we accept what we are gifted and we use those gifts to bless our world. To bless our world. Yeah. Thank you so much for You're this. You're welcome. Bye for now. Bye.